So it is really late and I'm exhausted, but I wanted to go ahead and do this video uh, while the, you know, the mini series was still fresh on my mind because, man, this has set me back a lot, you know, just from watching movies and stuff because I've just been focused on watching this. And uh, when I first heard about it, you know, I, I, I knew I was going to watch it, but I just didn't know how good it was going to be, you know, because, you know, Ryan Murphy and Evan Peters, you know, I mean, they're like two peas in a pod. I mean, they work so well together. But, you know, it's just, you see all these serial killer movies and TV shows and documentaries and it, it can be almost, you know, overwhelming at times, you know, because you're just like, oh, well, there's this and that and there's so many things to watch. And I mean, honestly, you could even just do a simple YouTube search, you know, and figure out, uh, you know, from other content creators what these people did. But uh, I just wanted to make this video because... Uh, I, I, I just wanted to talk about the Dahmer miniseries uh, because, it, wow, uh, I was blown away by it, uh, you know, I guess for better or for worse, and I'll touch on that a little bit later. Um, as you can tell, I'm still wearing the same shirt because I recorded other videos, but I just wanted to get this out there. Um, so the thing about this miniseries that sort of grabbed me uh, wasn't the story of Dahmer itself because... You know, uh, just a, a, I guess a little fun fact or whatever. Uh, for a, a long time, for a, for a good little bit, I was doing research on serial killers. You know, just for research purposes. And uh, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer obviously was one of those people that you know I listened to a lot of stuff about because I mean he's one of the most prolific, one of the most infamous serial killers in American history, probably of all time. Um, and when you do something like this, it can be in bad taste. And I'll also. You know, talk about that as well. Uh, but I, I don't mean to get really, I don't mean to be overbearing with my opinion. Um, I know that, you know, somebody having a really passionate opinion about something can also frustrate others. Uh, and that's not my intentions whatsoever. Uh, just know that. Um, but, you know, you can't really help but be, um, you know, intrigued with something when it comes to something like this, you know, with Netflix, just the production value and stuff like that is what I mean. Because, like I said, we see this a lot and it's like, oh, well, you know, it's just another, you know, mini series. And, and in that case, yes, it is. But uh, one thing that I really enjoyed about this mini series was uh, sort of how it handled the victims. Now, I'm not saying that they did it perfectly and I'm not saying that they couldn't have done it better uh, because they definitely could have done it better. But this is the first time I think I've ever watched something like this where I was just, I actually, I mean, of course you feel for the victims no matter what, but there was a particular episode, episode six, that was, I've never seen anything like it before. I've never seen anything like it before. And if you look at the reviews and stuff, which I, I usually don't focus on reviews or scores or anything like that anymore, but um, you can see how polarizing this is because, you know, the audience score seems to be really high while the critical score seems to be you know, kind of low. It's about average, you know, 50% from the last time that I saw it. Uh, but episode six in particular, I felt was done very well. Uh, I felt like it was just almost genius in a way, because like I said, I've never seen anything like it. And, and I'm not going to spoil it because I would highly recommend watching this. I, I know it's, like I said, it's a very brutal, uh, brutal thing to watch. And it's, you know, very, uh, it can make people uncomfortable. But uh, I feel like for all those people that, you know, were like, well, we should, you know, honor the victims more and we should talk more about the victims. Episode six is definitely for you. And I would almost say that episode six could be viewed on its own, you know, and, and, and you wouldn't have to watch anything else. But I, I feel like after watching it, you'll want to see the rest. Um, the way that they handled that was just, I mean, I, it was phenomenal. It really was. And it, and it made me feel, you know, kind of sick. And I don't get that way at all. You know, I mean, there, there's, it's very rare that movies or TV shows make me feel that way. Uh, I think the last movie that I actually got under my skin a lot was Solo, uh, that film really did mess with me a little bit, but, uh, but yeah, this mini series, just the way that it was handled, I feel like they, like I said, they could have done better, but it's better than what we've gotten. If that makes sense. Um, Another thing that I want to talk about, and this is kind of the reason why I wanted to make this, uh, Evan Peters is Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, I, I may, if you follow me on IG, you'll know that uh, uh, I've been talking about this miniseries on my story and, and, and sort of, you know, just talking about Evan Peters' performance. And I wanted to be 100% sure before I said something like this because, 
This is a very bold statement, and I think everybody done really good in this. You know, Nisi Nash and, and uh, uh, Robert Jenkins, I believe. Let me make sure I get that right. Richard Jenkins. I, I was I was torn between the two, but Richard Jenkins, and I love Richard Jenkins, Jenkins too. Bone Tomahawk, Step Brothers. There's some pretty interesting memes going on about him and Step Brothers in this, which is, they're kind of humorous. But uh, yeah, the, everybody done phenomenal in this. But Evan Peters... I'll just say it. He gave the performance, I think, of a lifetime. He, this was, I'm not even just saying this. This is one of the best performances I've ever seen. Now, of course, you know, when you see something more theatrical, uh, you know, there's so many great performances out there. But what Jeffrey Dahmer, or what, not Jeffrey Dahmer, but what Evan Peters did just felt so real. You know, he, he embodied Jeffrey Dahmer so well. And it's like, well, how, you know, how could you say something like that? You know, you didn't know Jeffrey Dahmer, obviously, but... Uh, I, like I said, I've done a lot of research on this stuff, and I've seen so many interviews with Jeffrey Dahmer, and if you look at the way his movements are and the way that he talks, and if you look at, at Evan Peters as a person in his interviews and just sort of the way that, uh, you know, he, he does his other performances and the other characters that he's played, uh, this particular role is just, it, it's insane. It, it really is. It, it I, I can almost guarantee this took a lot out of him and probably a lot out of everybody else that was a part of this. Um, uh, you, you know, and, uh, that when I look at a really good performance and, and when I judge a performance, I, you know, I look at how that actor is in real life. And then, you know, you look at, at, at what they did in the film or the TV show that they're, you know, they're doing and, and you sort of see that change. And when I see a change like that, you know, that just, it's like, wow, okay. I was not expecting that then, you know, that makes a good performance for me. You know, like when you look at something like uh, some of my favorite performances, Brian Cranston, you know, Walter White uh, is one of them. You know, I just, that's an amazing performance right there, you know, or Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. Uh, or even if you want to go back in the past, you know, further and you look at Jack Nicholson and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, um, you know, or Anthony Hopkins and Silence of the Lambs. Uh, you look at all of these just, great performances and and it's just uh you know or even marlon brando you know the godfather which i know that's sort of a cliche you know of course everybody knows that's a great performance but but when you look at who these people are in real life and and you see that the character that they're embodying uh it's just it, you know you can't help but be blown away sometimes and evan peters has done that for me uh i hope that he gets more roles you know and and, and he takes on bigger things um, I, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he'll take on more lighthearted stuff after this. If he did, I wouldn't blame him. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought the Dahmer miniseries was fantastic. And, uh, and I just, like I said, I didn't really want to do this video at first because, you know, it's kind of a, it's so touchy, you know, because the victims and their families and you know what they went through and you can say that you sympathize for them. But I mean, in, in the end, unless you go through something like that, I don't think, you know, I just don't think you really could, you know, I mean, you can sympathize, of course, but it's, it's rough stuff. It really is. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that this miniseries did justice because I don't think it did at all. Uh, you know, but I, I think it's, like I said, it's the best that we've gotten so far in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I just wanted to talk about the Dahmer miniseries. Uh, hopefully I can get this up tomorrow. It's real, like I said, it's really late. I just wanted to go ahead and record it. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to do anything special for this. I just wanted to, you know, just talk about it because I like to give credit where credit's due and um, everybody did a fantastic job. The production value was really good. Although I think I noticed some pretty interesting continuity errors, especially uh, seeing uh, when, when um, they're in the car and you can sort of see it looks like modern day cars are driving by, which I guess, you know, like stuff like that can be very, I guess, tricky to do. But when you look at some of the stuff that they've done in this, it's like, ah, you couldn't have used a green screen, which I don't know. Maybe I just looked at it wrong. But uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. I hope you're staying safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time.